Hello, welcome to Scrapbooks Made Easy with Beth. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really simple double page spread using just some cardstock and a couple of simple tools. So I've shown a piece here with green. I have not put it together yet and I'm going to make a different one using some blue. I am choosing to use the Totally Tonal Blue and Green Duo paper today. And so I've already cut these in half. You're going to take your cardstock, cut it in half, and you're going to take a decorative piece of paper and also cut that in half. So I went ahead and already did that for you. And then these are going to go on the edges with your decorative in the middle. And one thing that I've learned so you can save paper and not have to use up a whole nother sheet of paper is if you turn these two over and line them up, you can then take any scrap paper you have and put them together. So there's one. And you just need to do it at the top and the bottom because once it's in your album, you won't notice that. And then do it to both sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it to this one as well. Be sure to line them up, top and bottom, and then just stick your scrap sheets of paper. Once you go to put these down onto an actual scrapbook page, you can even take those off if you don't like those on there. So there's your base. It's only using two pieces of paper, but gives you a different look to make a double page spread. And then I am going to use the border maker system. It's one of my favorite, favorite tools. And I have the Flourish Vine. So this goes into the cartridge. This is magnetic, so it holds your paper. Make sure you flip the guard out. That's what keeps your paper straight. And then you're simply going to line these two up, or you can line the teeth up and go down. You can see it's cutting me out a beautiful border. Now this one is not a chain, so you do get the piece where you then decide how long you want to cut it. So back to the trimmer. I line the cuts, the end of that up, at the one inch and cut that off. And I went ahead and already cut the other one to save some time. Move all my mess away. And then you're going to, if you have something open like this and you use the repositionable tape runner, you can just go straight down it like that. So you don't have to worry about being super precise with the old tape runner. Do it again for the other side. And then you're gonna take that same paper, another sheet of that paper, and I like to cut four and a half all the way. Do four and a half again. And now you're going to cut this at six inches, and that's going to give you some photo mats. Oh, this one here, I'm actually going to change my mind and go to four. And then I can do a couple of four by fours. actually get three four by fours out of that and then take the piece of paper that you cut the border makers on do that at four and a half and again by six which gives you two mats lay those out either side would work kind of like the dark better on this these mats here and this is where I would use my four by four 
This is the navy paper. And I already have a couple of four by sixes cut out. And then I took the National Scrapbook Day sticker, or embellishments, not stickers. You could use either one to embellish your page. A few little, I think I'd put the hello over here, put that there. You could even cut this in half and put it down here if you want. You can embellish these any way you want. You could use stickers or anything. So just that simple, you have a double page spread. Uh, if you use the repositional tape runner when you're sticking these down, if you just use a tiny little bit, if you don't have your photos yet, then later on, if you decide you want that horizontal, you can just pick that up and, and move that. So if you don't have your pictures done already. So that's it, super simple. You can make a page in 10 minutes. I hope this helps you. If you like, subscribe, and I'll catch you next Thursday, everyone.